I have to Happy say, to doing here. that introduction actually gave me a f***ing adrenaline rush, which is what I needed <laughs> going off the back of no sleep. Yeah, so yeah. Yeah, thanks cool. for letting me do that, Daddy Tyler. <laughs> no, that's right, mate. Uh, that's right. I gotcha. I gotcha. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Nice. Anywho, <laughs> podcast ones. So, what's the fucking first thing we're doing today? I don't no clue. Um, <laughs> yeah, that's right, doing? Ethan. That's right. Yeah, yeah, that's right. Why don't you leave it to me? Why don't we leave the podcast? Well, no, intro, <laughs> intro's <laughs> over. Now let's keep structure to Tyler. He knows what he's doing. <laughs> yeah, he, yeah. Structuring, I'll do the fucking hellos. But I mean, I'm more than happy. I'll, I, I am who I am on these podcasts now, I think, and I ha- know my role. So mm-hmm. I'm more than happy to be the segue guy. You always have been. Yeah, the even since guy, the days of the Kill Connor Club. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, that's it. Yeah. But the thing is, like, if you leave it to us and you don't say anything, we'll be sitting here for like three hours talking about talking about the, the, the yeah. sizes yeah. of bosses. In yeah, the Valhalla, sizes of bosses. Oh, that was such a funny fucking moment. The different shoes that assassins wear or something. Don't worry, we've got plenty of dumb shit this episode. Because all I'm thinking, this is what I'm thinking in my head during that is like, this is the first Four Pillars podcast. This is a big moment. Let it go as long as it needs to go. Don't get upset. But honestly, I was furious. Like, I, was, I was so angry. I just wanted to sit there and be like, let's just, guys, can we just wrap this fucking shit up? Like, who gives a fuck that the sizes of bosses, like, not even uh, like how difficult they are and challenging. Like, let's just their physical size. Yeah. And I'm like, I want to be dead. I want to be dead. And, oh, good. And, uh, but I'm like, I, you know, Charlie, you can't get angry. You can't get upset. You can't wrap up the podcast because you're tired. This is the first one of podcast. It's a big moment. Just in, just sit here and just survive. Like, it, I was just like, just survive. It would have been and funny if you did get mad, though. Uh, it would have been... It would have been excellent. It would have been. Nah, more people would have just been like, Tyler. Oh my Why is he voice fucking shouting, him? man? I don't know why I'm doing that voice. <laughs> but, but that made up moment in my head where they told Tyler to shut up was excellent. And <laughs> oh my god. Jesus that is Christ, so get the fuck out of here with that. Oh, it was so satisfying when they all ganged up on Tyler yeah. and told him to shut the fuck up. <laughs> <laughs> Listen to Tyler, you I, fucking I monster. Just, I, I speak I love, for the downtrodden. <laughs> yeah, I loved it when I like read that comment and I'm like, Oh yeah, I don't really know what they're talking about. I just assume maybe that did happen. And then someone goes, "Oh fuck yeah, when did that happen?" They replied with the timestamp, and then they responded with, "Wow, that's such an epic moment." And then I watched a clip, and it's you guys being really nice to me. Like either goes, "All right, we better talk about this part, like the side activities in Valhalla," and you're like, "I'll tell you, you can sit this one out. You don't need to like deal with this." And I'm like, "Thank you so much." That was the moment, and they're like, "I love when he's talking to shut the fuck up." Epic, (laughs) having time to shut up. Wait, what? Yeah, talking to him about it next segment. week. It's our job, yeah. you know. Maybe next time we'll review a game that's bad. Yeah, <laughs> maybe we'll, yeah. Well, we we'll did that. We did a bad game. game last week and then a good uh, game this week. So we're uh, even. He's, he's yeah. fucking yeah. done it, hasn't he? Yeah. Yeah. Honestly, Tyler, shut fucking... the fuck Listen here, up. Tyler, shut <laughs> up. <laughs> <laughs> I think I speak on behalf of all the commenters when I say that was satisfying. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Um, this one's not necessarily stupid or anything. It's just something that I'm puzzled by. Um, it is so awesome seeing these four guys who I've watched for a while, but somehow didn't know that they knew each other, come together and make a podcast. This is like the Avengers for me. And <laughs> and my thought is, how, how do you not know this? Yeah. It's, it's literally <laughs> the most advertised thing. That we've I mean, heard. people don't know that James is my brother, so... True, yeah. Oh people my don't God. Know a lot of people will be like, when I found out that James and George were related... My my jaw was wide open. I mean, people like, think that me, you, and right. Ethan are the same person. I got a comment yes, the other I day do. that was like, "I'm convinced they're the same person." Uh, do I look like the same person? I'm it's sorry. so weird. I'm, like I'm, we I'm, don't like. I can understand when you think me and George are the same person. Yeah, but I'm a completely different bloke. You see, you see, George weird, is yeah. George is an ordinary guy. James is a goblin, and me, fucking hell, <laughs> I have no clue what I am. <laughs> what the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> So I threw this in the group chat, but it made me laugh. So this is from uh, Steph Stefriani Gallant, who says, um, "Lol, do you guys get excited when the Vikings come on to you? Like all the time, <laughs> lol. Sounds like a punt, but it ain't. I just wanted your opinion on the matter." The and then he goes on, on to, to say, you. "Yeah." And then he goes on to say, "And that that the blacksmith hammer is really nicer than Thor's. <laughs> comma, 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 isn't so cool that you cannot throw Thor's hammer." Comma, 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 comma. Halden can throw his lol. I see so, where he's coming from about the blacksmith's thought. hammer. Have you seen the um? Have you seen the guy who photoshopped Thor? You know, from the MCU to just have a regular hammer. 
it's one of the best things I've ever seen. <laughs> <laughs> now, is he talking about the hammer, or is he talking about another type of hammer? He's talking about a hammering, for sure. Because I know the Gloucestershire arc is based around Gunner's hammer. You, oh, and what, you, where he gets that. Right, right, I see. <laughs> I see what you're saying. <laughs> I think you nailed that one. But lad. do you get excited when the Vikings come on to you? I do. I, 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 I get very yeah. excited when the Vikings come on to me. Yeah, no, yeah. big bearded men. My, my yep. ding. Here's another well, one that's fucked. Uh, uh, well, go, I don't go. know if fucked, but it's one of those ones that I read a few times, but I couldn't quite make sense of it. Um, and and it and it's so it's a bit it's a bit odd. So let me let me just read it out to you. It's from a guy called Jose Austin, and it's okay. it's a it's a mouthful. So let's give it a go, shall we? With all due respect to the four pillars, before you can objectively give your opinion on a game, I would think he, the one member, would play the game the whole way through. I played Origins, Odyssey, and Valhalla. Well, spelt Vehella. Um, <laughs> I seen things in there that could have been better. It could have been added on there, and also things that I didn't like at all. Or I can say, well, this was a waste of time. I didn't make any sense. Or there's a lot of grinding here for nothing. But I can give my objective opinion on the game because I play the game all the way through. If you give up in the prologue or epilogue of a game, how can you sit there and give a well-informed objective opinion on a game when you really haven't been playing all the way through? The Overall, you guys make very good points, but it does seem to be more of a gang bashing making fun of instead of calling it down to the middle and also put some <laughs> emphasis on what they did great and if they need to do more of if i was ubisoft why would you want to be ubisoft <laughs> i would also like to look at some of these reviews if and take i was in, in, in what i should do to make your game better and bring back the assassin in assassin's creed because in a sense you are right there isn't enough sneaking around and killing people quietly we are borrowing in for offense mode most of the time I think in Origins I could do a lot more assassination and I worked on my defence I am offence in the game but with Odyssey <laughs> Alexio that's who I played as was so over the top powerful maybe because he had more Isu DNA I basically stayed 90 to 95% on offence mode <laughs> I am on offence mode <laughs> Top five offense modes with Jose Austin. Oh god, the, I, I don't know what to oh, make. I don't fuck. know. What to Look, make. boys, let's call it down the middle. All right. I don't oh, know what to make god. of that entire <laughs> yeah. thing. Next time we do a review, we gotta call it down the middle. Right? Yeah, <laughs> we gotta oh, call it down the, the middle. Time, in the time that it took me to read that entire thing out, you could have opened that and scrolled to find the exact comment. I fucking oh love comments God. like that where it, it's just incoherent, just It's scrawling. incoherent. I think <laughs> it's like I think yeah, it's definitely come from a place thoughts. of broken e English. Yeah. But I, oh I think God. it comes across as somebody's just literally started their sentence and then started to tap the autofill on their phone. They just never ended it. <laughs> they never ended their sentence. It just continues exponentially. Oh, I've got one more comment. I've got one. Oh God. Um it's right. it's when it's referencing when Tyler uh, <laughs> I don't know if you guys re-listen to the podcast, but it's when Tyler in the podcast goes, cash me outside, how about that? Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> I didn't notice it on the recording. But, no, I did not. But I listened, no one said anything. Oh, I was like, I thought fuck? you guys would be giving me so much shit for that reference. And no one said anything. I was like, wow, you guys let me off the hook with that one. That was lucky. <laughs> it's so fucking funny. I just wasn't expecting it. I listened to it back and I was like, where the fuck did that come from? <laughs> It was just so, so stupid. Yeah, oh, keep doing great. old memes. Next episode, we want a damn Daniel from you. Oh, yeah, well, you guys know. You guys know I'm the boomer here. You guys know I'm the old man here. Can we? Can we get oh, some God. old memes? Come every every episode, we need to get Tyler to say an old. Tyler meme. needs to squeeze. But he needs to do it naturally. Meme, yeah. He needs to find the place where yeah. it fits. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. yeah. That. Yeah. That way, if nothing else, you'll make. You, I know you'll make Toby very happy. But James and I both got real life death threats from. Well, he got it from a real life Templar. I got it from his cousin. <laughs> to, to <laughs> real life Templar. Real life yeah. Templar. Yeah, like th this guy sent. It's one of their best podcasts of all time. The as always podcast talking about <clears throat> Carson and Caterino, and then James talking about how this guy in a big Templar shirt was talking about how he's going to shoot James in the head if he ever came to America. Yeah. And then we made fun of him on the podcast for it. And then his cousin DM me on Instagram and his face is just, his his Instagram is just this like big fat dude in a bella club. <laughs> and, and he was Lava. talking about how he's going to come to Australia and cut my head off. So I asked him, I was like, I'll send you my address if you want. You can come to the middle try. of the outback. And, and then, right and to then the he just, 
And then he blocked me. And I'm yeah, like, bro, you just threatened well. to end my life. <laughs> In and then a he gruesome me. way. That's yeah, he, he said he'd chop so my head mental. off if I don't delete the podcast. If I don't make James delete the podcast, he's going to come to Australia and chop my head off. And I'm like, here's my address. Fucking come try. Come. <laughs> like, but I'd happily have him come to my house. I don't give a fuck. Whatever. Yeah, no, I'm not asked. You come I've never, Ke- catch me outside, outside, man. How about that? Yeah, yeah, just catch me outside. outside. <laughs> my name's Jeff, so it's fine. <laughs> 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 my name's Jeff. I don't oh, think geez. there's ever been a time where I've taken a like a threat online seriously. Someone threatens you. It's like, no, I do. I'll start barricading. Yeah, Right, the windows. Also, right, what a, what a <laughs> pathetic also, little he's child. He's not coming to Australia. Like, you know what I mean? Like, think, I'm, he's not yeah, coming. It's not like, happening. You know what I mean? no, it is, And it's not, that, like, it's not that just like, dude, yeah, I'll send you my address because I'll fucking fight you. It's I'll fucking hard. It's, it's like, like funny you're not coming. You're not coming. You're not coming. Yeah. You're not actually going to spend thousands of dollars on a plane flight and coming. I'm happily, I'll happily send you my address. Yeah. Yeah. You probably couldn't now anyway because of everything. The, the, you'd be, the, the you'd be mega wounded if the man sent anthrax in the post. Oh wait, you live in Australia. Border control would catch that. It's so it's so it's so funny too. Like there's like legit Zack Schneider bots that I know well now because they always pop up. What Eddie and, and I'm like, oh it's oh it's waves. You know what I mean? Waves, like, always, yes. Yeah, yeah, like we always know when they pop <laughs> oh, it's up. It's waves, yeah. Uh, I, Calling I, me Tony respond... Stank or something. <laughs> Tony yeah, yeah. Stank. Whenever they respond Tony to stank. random stuff, like it's not even Zack Schneider hate anymore. Like you could just be anything. They're like, fuck you guys, suck. And I'll just I'll be like, oh waves, what's up, man? Good to see you. <laughs> it's like, that guy. Like, yeah. Yeah, it's just fucking classic. waves. I don't know how yeah, I managed to avoid these people, but um, uh, it, I don't. I don't know. I just, I, I just managed to avoid getting into too many fights on Twitter, and then when I do, it's fucking glorious. I mean, I got yeah. attacked for oh, saying man. that Rouge the Bat is. I, I got attacked <laughs> for like Rouge the Bat Twitter for making a joke. About <laughs> you get attacked by the weirdest stands. You, you, you were reboot Lara Croft man, stands and, and it, Rouge like, the Bat stands. It evolved into some dude saying y- you're fucking worthless, like you don't deserve <laughs> to live. And I was like, what? I've just I made a joke about Rouge the Bat from Sonic. What the yeah. fuck is going on? People that are like sexualizing her. And like someone said, stay out of black oh, people's wow. business. I was like, what? <laughs> what is Rouge the Bat? Black people's business. What? Is there something I've missed here? I remember like, that actually. Yeah, it's I'm like, like sure I saw that. Like, Rouge what? the Bat is black people's <laughs> Rouge business. Rouge the Bat is an integral part of the BLM movement. All right, she's a mascot. <laughs> Shout out to Rouge the Bat. Keep fighting the good fight. You know what I mean? Can we get, can we get Mass Effect um, butt controversy in the title somewhere? We can get it in the thumbnail now, yes. boys. We're gonna get so yeah, many views. Yeah, boys. Can, yeah, boys. can we have yeah, it like? The boys. Can we have it like blurred out so people feel inclined to click? That's our hottie of That's... the month. It's Miranda. Yeah, <laughs> hottie of the month. <laughs> hottie of the month. <laughs> yeah, oh, hottie God. of the month is Miranda's ass. Oh God, <laughs> bits of arse. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, so there's been a brand new controversy on Twitter about Miranda's ass And I wanted to talk about it here on the channel <laughs> I'm a huge fan of ass myself And I can't understand why they've removed these shots from the game Honestly, kind of ruins Mass Effect 2 for me <laughs> It sounds more and more like Robin Gaming the more I do it No, it doesn't Yeah, it does Hang on, let me try Hang on, here we What go. is this it with you Gaming. impersonating um, Dutch content creators give, by give accident? Me, give me something the same Robin Gaming's voice I'm trying to perfect it Stocks. Oh god. Uncharted 4 is the most polished Stocks. Uncharted game. Is the most what Uncharted S- game? Polished. Okay. Uncharted 4 is the most polished Uncharted game. This sounds like- it's dude, close. that's I'm fucking close. good, hey, dude. That's fucking. I don't like that. I'm getting I close. Like a bit more. It's not, a bit not more. like it's a random person. It's legitimately our friend, and I don't <laughs> like that. <laughs> I don't like uh. that.